Mercedes. How can I help you? Cancel all my appointments today. Hi guys, I'm Sarah Elsa, I'm a tech and automotive host and today is a special day for me. I've been given a chance to test drive a car which combines both of my passions, the new Mercedes-Benz GLA. In this video you will learn all about the exterior design, the MBUX, how it drives on and off-road, the space and storage capabilities, the safety and assistance systems and the interior and comfort features. Stick with me or click in the timeline below to jump directly to any chapter that interests you most. But a friendly advice amongst petrol heads, you better stick with me. Today we're in beautiful Bavaria. We start here in Munich with our journey and then head out to one of my favorite spots, the Alps. There you find some of the greatest driving roads in Germany and let's see how this guy here performs. But first of all, let's have a look at what's new with the GLA, the entry-level SUV in the Mercedes-Benz family. When this compact SUV was introduced in 2014, it was the first one of its kind in the brand's range and it truly sold like hot cakes. Well, buddy, big footsteps to follow, so let's see how the new one has been improved. The most eye-catching novelty isn't, in my opinion, a single feature. It is the whole new look of the Mercedes GLA. It has really grown up. It is over 10 centimeters taller than its predecessor, the wheelbase has also increased and at the same time, the overall length has shrunk slightly, which makes it the shortest Mercedes-Benz available. And if you think that's at the expense of space inside, I'll have a little surprise for you later. In my opinion, the new GLA has its own character. The design language is clear and modern, with fewer lines on the flanks than before. You can really see how light and shadows play off each other, making it a really expressive beauty. Now the shoulders of the bodywork look much stronger, and they are nicely contrasted by the line of the side window, which is rather coupé-like. Another sporty touch comes with the AMG line, especially with the AMG front apron with a front splitter, and this rare apron around here with its diffuser look. For a powerful stance, Mercedes-Benz has introduced a whole new range of light alloy wheels from 17 to 21 inches in diameter. In this GLA, we're riding on 20-inch AMG wheels. Very fancy. All right, guys, I know these bold AMG line features are a hot topic amongst the Mercedes-Benz community online, and I'm very curious to find out what you like most on a GLA. So leave a comment below, and now let's hop inside and see what's new there. Now it's time for my second passion, the digital stuff. The new GLA is fully packed with digital features, but as we're sitting in a car, it is super important that the driver isn't distracted or confused by any feature. And in my opinion, the engineers and designers of the MBUX truly solved that issue perfectly. Most of the functions hide behind this all digital widescreen cockpit. It is available with two 10.25 inch displays, the instrument cluster in front of you and the head unit in the middle. The GLA has the MVUX as regular feature. This infotainment system can be highly personalized, for example, with its predictive function. If you, let's say, head off to work every morning at seven and listen to the same radio station, the system will learn this behavior and suggest setting navigation and station to your habits. Commands are easily given via the touchpad, the touchscreen on the dashboard, and the touch control buttons at the steering wheel. And of course, the famous voice control. With this, the new GLA feels like a true companion who's always there for you. Let's give it a try. Hey, Mercedes. How can I help? It's too warm in here. I'm reducing the temperature on the driver's side to 21 degrees. Hey, Mercedes. How can I help? Open the sun blinds. Okay, I'm opening the roller sun blinds. Hey, Mercedes. How can I help you? Cancel all my appointments today. I'm expecting a phone call from a friend who is supposed to send me on a little treasure hunt today. Test drive next level, so it's a good moment to show you another cool thing. With the multifunction telephony, you cannot only charge your phone wirelessly like this, but you can also connect your phone seamlessly to the MBUX. Here it is. Hi, Boris. Hi, Sarah. I was wondering if you could pick up something at the farm for me. I'd see you at the lake then later. 
All right, looking forward to seeing you. Bye. And I'm looking forward to showing you other cool features of the GLA on road. The MBUX is also hugely helpful when it comes to reducing travel stress with augmented reality navigation. Cameras in the front capture traffic signs, POIs and street names, which are directly layered in the Navi display. This feature even includes live traffic information, which is a real-time representation of the situation on the street, always giving you the best possible route. See, this guides you to your destination completely stress-free. And I have to say that I love the vividness of these map graphics. All right, guys, I'm super excited because I'm well now on my way to some of the greatest driving roads here in Germany. The predecessor of the new GLA was more like a sporty crossover. So let's see how this comfy compact SUV performs in dynamic driving. The new GLA comes with a great range of powerful and efficient engine variants. You can choose between three diesel and three petrol options plus one plug-in hybrid variant. You can adjust the driving character via this switch. The available program range from comfort to eco, but no doubt I surely choose the sport mode for these amazing hairpins. After driving the GLA for a while, I can tell you, the car has really a powerful torque, I have a good feedback in the steering wheel and a stable handling in curves like these. One of the reasons for this good driving performance is the famous Formatic all-wheel drive. On road, it gives you enhanced traction, you really feel like driving on rails. Speaking of the Formatic all-wheel drive, if there's only one way to test that drivetrain ride, off-road guys! Woo! A new drive character, it's a shaky mode. <laughs> Any GLA with Formatic is equipped with the off-road engineering package. It optimizes the traction, especially on light terrain, unpaved roads or snow. <laughs> Personally, I'm practically minded, so I like my car easy to load. The new GLA fulfills that wish with the easy pack tailgate, which opens and closes the boot door electrically. Just activate the sensor below the rear bumper like this. These split rear lights are a clever novelty as they allow the boot door being wider, letting you stow bulkier objects much easier. In addition, the boot sill has been lowered. Now you don't have to lift heavy objects so high anymore. The boot capacity has also increased, so you see still enough space in here to store more boxes like this. Getting the car really dirty is half the fun when going off-road. But now, cleaning the car is a very rewarding thing too. With the new car wash function, you can prepare your GLA for the car wash. When activated like this, it automatically closes the windows and sunroof, deactivates the park sensors and the rain sensor for the wipers, folds the exterior mirrors in and activates the front view camera. After the car wash, you can deactivate the system manually or you exit the car wash and drive off. At over 20 km per hour, the system switches back to normal on its own. Really cool! Like any Mercedes, the GLA is packed with safety and assistance features. It has many features from the S-Class, which are bundled in the driving assistance package. 
For example, the Active Distance Assist Distronic is the latest evolution of cruise control. You cannot only set a desired speed, but it maintains the desired distance to the car in front of you. The Active Steering Assist helps the driver to keep the vehicle in the center of its lane. This works on straight roads, in slight bends and on highways by gently turning the steering wheel. The Active Braking Assist helps with a distance warning or autonomous emergency braking to prevent crashes. This works with cars, bicycles or pedestrians ahead if the driver fails to respond. It has even got a cross-traffic function. If there is danger of a collision with oncoming traffic when making a turn across a carriageway, the new GLA will begin automated braking to keep you safe. Before we get to the last chapter, I'd like to take you a bit deeper into the digital world that Mercedes-Benz is offering. The new generation of Mercedes Mi apps is now available for many Mercedes-Benz models. With these new apps, your smartphone becomes the digital connection to your car. The new generation consists of three apps. The Mercedes Mi app, the Mercedes Mi Store app and the Mercedes Mi Service app. All three are replacing the previous Mercedes Mi app and can be downloaded for free at the usual app stores. Let me start with the Mercedes Mi app. With this app, you can check your car status before starting your drive. For example, mile age, fuel level or range. Normally, I have to look at this data because I forget it all the time. Now I have it bundled in just one app. Very comfy. Conveniently check your tire pressure or the status of doors, windows and even the sliding sunroof directly in the app. You can also remotely open or close the windows. Also, you can send your destination from your smartphone directly to your car's navigation system. Should you be in the mood for an upgrade? As a tech girl, I admit I sometimes am. The Mercedes Me Store app shows you the Mercedes Me Connect services and on-demand features available for your Mercedes. On your smartphone, it looks like this, clearly arranged and easy to operate. You can buy new services, check their run times or extend them with your smartphone. Then we have the Mercedes Me service app that can remind you of your next service appointment. It can even be easily booked directly via the smartphone, providing you with a direct link to your Mercedes-Benz dealership. Plus, the app includes a selection of helpful how-to videos, like a tutorial for checking your oil level. The oil dipstick's position in the engine compartment depends on the vehicle model and engine. With the Mercedes Me smartphone integration, you can link your mobile phone with the media system of your Mercedes via Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. That gives you easy access to all your favorite apps, music, podcasts and audiobooks on your phone. And for everyone who loves unlimited access to their favorite music, Mercedes offers online music. With my title account Sync to the Car, I now have direct access to my favorite tunes. Hey Mercedes! How can I help? Start online music. As a tech host, I certainly love new things. But to be honest, when I'm sitting in a car, I want to feel familiar with my surroundings. And when I first got into the new GLA, I instantly felt at home, mostly because of the cockpit layout, which is similar to other compact models of the Mercedes-Benz family. And maybe you know the proverb, you eat with the eyes, and I think you really drive with the eyes. So it's super important to have a high quality interior, which is given here. And I love those little details like the carbon structured rim over here, which give the GLA a really sporty high-tech look. Although the GLA is a compact car, you also have the advantages of riding a larger car. The higher seating position compared to the predecessor gives you a great overview of the surroundings. And you also have enough space here in the headroom. Although I'm 173 centimeters tall, I still got enough space, for example, to do a little stretching workout after a long journey like today. 
The new GLA surely stands for comfort and safety, but from my side, it's also important to feel the joy of driving. Therefore, we have those sports seats in the front with a lot of lateral support on the sides, which makes it very easy and joyful to drive those winding roads as I did before. And of course, joyful riding and good looking goes hand in hand. That's why this car has an AMG leather package, which is not only a visual, but also a very central highlight in here. As I mentioned at the beginning, I have a little surprise for all those who think that the shorter overall length has an impact on the inside space of the car. As you can see on the rear seats, it isn't like that. Actually, the legroom has increased by nearly 12 to almost 98 centimeters. You really feel like sitting on your couch at home. Well, too bad, I have to go to my picnic right now. Oh wow, here you are! Hi Boris, I didn't know you would come by boat! Hey Sarah, cool that you made it! I come over in a minute, I just want to wrap up the GLA. Alright, that's all. Unfortunately, I have to hand back the key, but I really enjoyed that day. My honest opinion, if you live in a city and do many weekend trips, even with your family, the new GLA is a perfect fit for you. Alright guys, now it's your turn and I really want to know what you liked about the new GLA. Just leave a comment below or let me know what car you would like me to test next time. Anyway, to get more information about Mercedes-Benz models, click here. And to get more content, click here. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel.